Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to try new products for me. It will be an exclusive drugstore video. Hopefully I'm going to discover with you new and exciting products from the drugstore. So if you are interested to see how those products apply and what are my overall thoughts about them, then just keep on watching. And if you are new to this channel and you enjoy this kind of content, I will really love if you will take a moment and you'll subscribe before you leave. I don't remember if I have tried this primer on camera, so it's by Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Putty Primer. And I don't know exactly how I feel about this. I think I only tried it once on when I did a hole, so I want to use it all over my face. Oh, okay, it's nice. It feels soft and does a good job on blurring. And it also does smell nice. Because we are on the primer step, I forgot that I have a primer from the drugstore when I showed you my favorite primer on uh, my most amazing seven products that I used all the time. So this is by Couture's, but it's a good primer. It's not as good as my Smashbox one, but it's not bad. I have a new foundation I just hold. I remember someone on YouTube was mentioning that this might be discontinued. And last year I purchased the concealer, but it was too dark for me. And after that I was not able to find the concealer, but luckily they still have this foundation. This is Born to Glow. And I have my shade Vanilla, so I have high hopes for it, and it's sealed, which is a good thing. Oh my god, now I put too much. I needed to use a pen set to take the product, so as you can tell, I have put way too much. The shade is nice, it will match me, and I can tell it's runny. Okay, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to apply what I have on my hand. Doesn't have any smell. And when I test it at the drugstore, I was feeling that it has a little bit of a matte finish, okay? It's too much, definitely too much. Oh, it does have some coverage. And of course, because I have added too much, way too much, the coverage is extra. This is my BK Beauty 101 brush. Okay, adding a bit here just to update the coverage. I love the foundation. I think it's really nice. I'm using the sponge to dab a bit and make it look more natural. This is by e.l.f. The concealer that I'm going to use today is by uh, Rimmel London and is the Multitasker Concealer. And I have literally not heard anyone talking about this concealer, so I don't know how come there are some products which are not talked about. At least not my uh, in my YouTube bubble. This has very, very high coverage. I have used it the other day and I was feeling like it's very similar with other high coverage concealers that I use. So you just need a bit. The shade that I have is Ivory. I already swatched this on my video, but just as an idea. And it was the darkest shade available at my local drugstore and I find that it's slightly lighter for me. Alright, before setting everything with my Wet n Wild translucent setting powder, I'm going to add this cream bronzer by e.l.f. And then I will follow up with this blush also by e.l.f. It's the Luminous Putty Blush in the shade Bermuda. I'm going to use a brush, but I almost don't need to do anything because it's already spread and did a good job just using the finger, so it's very, very good. So returning to the Putty Blush, so you have the shade name here in case that you are not able to find it. I don't know why they didn't put it here. This is the shade. 
it shears out really nicely but I'm only going to put it here so it will help lift your face especially if you are in your 40s and we need more lifting and if you are wondering why my hair is so oomphy or I have to say unruly I have uh, braided yesterday <laughs> prior going to sleep and I had a very tall braided updo so it was a French braiding so you can imagine that it's now more curly than usual I don't usually do that but I was just playing with my hair so I didn't show you my face after I applied the foundation but now after I have added the wet and wild setting powder everything looks and feel really really nice and so is the concealer even though you can see that I have a little bit of creasing this is because I have used this setting powder I'm usually putting my Becca one but today we have a drugstore try on the video and I don't want to use anything that is not coming from the drugstore I realized that I don't have too many bronzers that are from the drugstore but I have found this one from Catrice this is ginormous you cannot buy it anymore sorry for that it's from the last year limited edition so I'm going to use this because it's matte and I love the shade and this is a BK Beauty and Angie hot and flashy A507 brush it's an angled brush and now for the blush I only have two blushes from the drugstore I feel that I have more but I cannot find them so I have this from um, a brand that I got from the Croatia this is by Aura Cosmetics I love the shade it's a peachy pink that looks flattering on me and i'm going to use a zoeva 111 petit face brush i use this for setting powder but today we are going to also use it for blush right and for the highlighter <laughs> i have this this very smashed from uh, catrice so i will uh, refer to this without showing to camera it is gorgeous use a brush this is a refer 20 so i will have my link my referral link for refer and also for bk beauty so if you would like to shop through my referral link it will help a lot to found this channel especially during this time of year when i'm spending so much on makeup and then calendar and all this good stuff that i want to show you here on my channel so yeah i have this eyeshadow palette by wet and wild this is the color icon walking on the eggshells and i find that it's a very good take from the largest palette that is the i'll put the name on the the screen so i find this very similar just some of the shades are a little bit more rosy but I do also have those creamy shadows from e.l.f. So I want to incorporate especially the purple or the lavender. Maybe I should do this on my entire lid. It will look nice. I don't know what to say. I have not even swatched it on my whole. How is that even possible? Today I'm going to use this one from Zoeva. I'm going to start with a transition shade from the Wet n Wild uh, Walking on Eggshell palette. So I'm going to use this matte shade. going to use a ng hot and flashy by bk beauty this is 504 and around the same shade on my lower lashes and now with the same blush with the same brush i'm going to take this shade from the color icon which has more sheen to it and add to my outer v i'm going to take the elf shade which is by the way wildflower is the name it's also here I'm going to take a BK Beauty brush. This is the 203 from the travel set and add this on my entire lid. It looks beautiful. So I feel that upon you apply it, it will set. So you need to work quick and also be sure that you secure the lid. Otherwise it will dry faster. All right, now I'm going to take the other shade, which is the Dune, a very interesting name. I love the Dune cream bronzer from Persona Cosmetics. Yeah, this is also not touched. I'm taking a angled brush. I'm going to run it on my lower lashes. I 
I'm going to take a darker shade from this palette. This has a bit of a fallout. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add my NYX Epic Liner. So I'm definitely enjoying this the most out of those uh, products that I received in the NYX Advent Calendar. So this has a bowl, so you can mix it if you want so. And it has a brush applicator, so I'm going to take my time and do my wing. My eyes are not symmetric. I wanted to point that out every time. So my wings can be sisters, but not twins. I don't know if it's noticeable, but I'm happy with this wing. I'm going to curl my lashes, and after that I'm going to use the mascara. This is the Refer Eyelash Curler, and it's a bestseller on the website. I have two of these. I have a new mascara that my friend Leia McDonald actually made me buy. Age Perfect Waterproof Mascara for Sensitive Eyes. It has a brush, which is very similar with the one from... and does almost the same job. I wore it yesterday, I did not have eyeshadow and it was showing off even more. My lashes are finally getting longer after I had an incident in fall, in the beginning of fall. They completely stopped growing, so I changed the lash serum. I feel that this mascara is excellent. Thank you, Leia, for telling about this. But other than that, I haven't heard anyone speaking about this. So if you are stumbling across this one, try the waterproof version. I, I didn't try the normal version, but the waterproof is amazing, amazing. So it lasts all day, doesn't smudge, and it's easy to remove and gives beautiful lashes. I have two lip liners from Maybelline. This is the one that I got this year in the advent calendar in the shade Dusty Rose. However, I'm going to use the shade that I had before, Almond Rose. Because you'll see why it's matching my lipstick. This is very nice, even alone. I have two new products that I got from Rosman. So I have this Maybelline Vinyl Liquid Lipstick, which I'm loving. I wore this yesterday and it lasts all day. It's a beautiful shade. I want to do a very long swatch. Also, I have this one from NYX. So I think I'm going to try this one. I was trying for a long time to get this. It wasn't available here. And when it finally came up, all the good shades were not available. And I don't like the shade range they have. And this reminds me awfully about my all-time favorite, the ones from uh, Max Factor. They also had in this format. They discontinued that one. Ooh, this is a berry shade. So it will be a good test for this. I'm going to have lunch. So uh, after that, I'm going to show you how much it has transferred because I heard very, very good things about this. It's very vampy shade. But when it dries down, it's not very, very uncomfortable. Of course, you can use the oil, but just I want to leave it a little bit to dry. I'm going to use the step number two which is the, just a regular gloss that is coming with a brush. So look, it didn't pick up anything from the lipstick. The brush is perfectly clean. This is on top of the Maybelline one. So it's more than one shade difference, but it's the same tone. I feel it's gorgeous. So probably one of my most favorite products of everything I've tried today. What we have tried today, I have tried the NYX Born to Glow foundation. I love it. I feel that it looks very nice. Now, if I am um, not forgetting, I will take a snapshot of how my face looks by the end of the day, but I have a feeling that it will uh, act very, very nice because I love the finish. It sets immediately after I apply it, but I have some time to work with and it gives a very natural satin finish. The concealer, it's a little bit 
stick. So what you need to do is to use a very small amount. I felt that even today when I have applied here on my left eye, I added too, way too much, so you just need a dab, otherwise it will crease. The Butter Bolivar, um, Butter Bolivit Primer, I thought it's nice, it leaves the skin very, very smooth and it makes uh, application on the foundation very easily, so this one I recommend, but also I'm going to use it a few more times, so just stay tuned for the speed reviews video that it will uh, come anytime soon on my channel, maybe by next month. And of course, probably my most two favorite products of everything I've tried today is the L'Oreal, the Age Perfect Waterproof Mascara for Sensitive Eyes. I think it's a fantastic. It's the second day when I'm wearing this and I'm loving it. And the NYX lipstick. I'm loving the cream shadows that I got from e.l.f. Also, I need to play with them, but first impression is that they are nice and um, they are easy to work with. They are mollient and... I think they work perfect together. Brown with purple, they are a perfect combination. But yeah, I feel that today I have discovered amazing products. Some of the products that nobody talks about. So I'm very happy that I did that. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please let me know in your comment section down below what is your favorite product of today. And if you have some other questions, do not hesitate to leave them down also in my comment section. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch. Don't forget that the most beautiful makeup is your own smile. And I'm going to see you very, very soon. Bye-bye!